Hello and welcome students to the section 3 information gathering with Metasploit. Now in this section what we are going to learn. So in this section we are going to learn about various information gathering methods. We will also learn about port scanning techniques in which we will learn about nmap port scanner inside Metasploit. And then we will also talk about various Metasploit port scanners. Information gathering. In this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all, we will learn about what is information gathering and then how we can perform information gathering. So we will also take a couple of examples. So now what we need to do here, we need to start Kali Linux operating system and inside Kali Linux operating system, we need to start Metasploit inside it. And then I will provide you information that how you can perform information gathering using Metasploit. So let's start Kali Linux. So guys, I'm here at Kali Linux operating system and uh, first of all, in Kali Linux, we need to start Metasploit. So you can open your terminal here and on the terminal, you can type msf console to start Metasploit inside Kali Linux operating system and you can hit enter here. So now it will start Metasploit framework inside Kali Linux operating system. So you just need to wait here. So guys, you can see here that uh, Metasploit is started here. So this is MSF and here you can type various commands for Metasploit. Now I will show you an example of information gathering regarding a website. For example, uh, if you want to gather basic information about a website, then how you can gather it. Basically, I will take two examples in this video, one for website and one for network. So first of all, let's talk about website. How you can perform who is in Metasploit? Let's do it. So to perform who is or to perform information gathering regarding a website, you can type here who is whois space the website name. The website name I'm taking a sample website which is worldweb.com. So this is a sample website, right? And uh, this website is provided by Acunetix company. And this website is for testing purpose. So if you want to perform practicals, then you can use this website for testing. And now you can hit enter here. And you just need to wait here until it provides information about the website. So who is this? Uh, you can say a command which can be used to gather basic information like uh, the registrar name or where the company is located what is the phone number, fax number, email IDs etc. So that can be uh, done using WHOIS and using Metasploit we can perform WHOIS information gathering. So let me come up here. So this was our command WHOIS space vulnerweb.com right vulnerweb.com is the domain name or the website name. So this is registry domain ID and server information is available here right updated date registry date and when it is going to expire right and uh, you can see the email id is available here the phone numbers available here and you can come down then you can get more information right for example you can see here that uh, registrar euro dns sa and uh, what is the co company name basically company name is acunetics limited and where it is located third floor gnc building road town totola and you can see that city name is also available here with the country name phone number is also available here and the email id is available here regarding a Kinetix company right so you can see here that uh, when you have an address when you have the email id of the admin right when you have the phone number so the basic information is available here so that's why who is is really important and using metasploit you can perform who is information gathering regarding a website Alright, so this information is pretty useful if you are just gathering basic information about a website. So that's how you can use Metasploit to gather basic information about a website. Now uh, I will talk about a network. So if port number 21 or FTP is open in other machine inside network, we are in a network, Kali Linux is connected with the network and other machines are also connected with the same network. For example, if other machines port number 21 is open, FTP is open and if I want to check that what kind of version 
they are using what kind of ftp version they are using so how i can get information about it on metasploit so that i will show you here right so what i have done here basically uh, there is a lab setup i have already done it right in which what i have done i have started port number 21 inside windows operating system so let me show you so guys you can see here that uh, i have installed a filezilla server inside my windows operating system right which is in the same network of Kali Linux and uh, you can simply download FileZilla server from internet and then you can install it inside your Windows operating system and you can run it. Using FileZilla you can open port number 21 of Windows and 21 port is FTP file transfer protocol. So now I'm going to show you that how you can gather information about the server which is installed in another machine because we have installed FileZilla server in Windows machine. So how I can gather information about this server from Kali Linux Metasploit that I'm going to talk about here, right? So now guys, uh, I'm again at Kali Linux operating system and uh, this is Metasploit. So now how we can gather information about the FileZilla version of uh, that server which is installed in Windows operating system, right? So we are here at Metasploit, here you can type search. So we want to gather information about FTP so you can type here search FTP and hit enter. What will happen basically it will uh, find out the exploits and auxiliaries regarding FTP and uh, then you can we can use uh, one of them to find out information about the version of that server right. So if you have no idea what kind of server they are then you can use different different options and it will provide you information so you can see here that uh, these all are the options available here for uh, FTP right in which uh, let me select some auxiliaries here which can helpful for us in this case right so we need to find out basically auxiliary slash scanner it is auxiliary slash admin so we need to find out auxiliary slash scanner right here it is this one will be helpful auxiliary slash scanner slash FTP slash FTP underscore version. So let me set, copy it. Let me come down. Let me type here use space and paste here the auxiliary. Hit enter. Now you can check the options available here. So you can type here show options. Enter. And uh, you need to provide our host means the IP address of the target machine you are targeting. So I already know my Windows IP address. So you can check your Windows IP address by using IP config command in command prompt. But I already know, so I can type here set our host. I need to set 192.168.0.6 is the IP address of my Windows operating system in which FTP is installed. Hit enter. Our port is already set to 21 so I don't need to change anything and everything is fine so now I can run it so you can type run here and hit enter and here you can see that uh, this is the Windows IP port number is 21 which is FTP and here you can see that FTP banner or FTP banner means operating system so it is using FileZilla server and this is the version 0.9.60 so actually it is correct FileZilla is installed inside my Windows operating system and it has detected that FileZilla is installed inside your target machine which is the IP address, right? So this is information about uh, FileZilla website and uh, the kind of version of FileZilla I'm using here. So that's it. That's how you can gather information about the server which is running inside another machine in the network. So this is all about information gathering part regarding website and network.